Hi, it's James here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can book a meeting room when creating an event in Google Calendar. Of course, there might be some differences between what you see on your screen and what I show on mine, such as different names for meeting rooms and capacities and things like that. It depends a bit on what your Google Workspace administrator has set up on yours, but it'll be slightly different to mine. But the overall theme and the way you do things should be very similar. And one final thing, if you don't see the option to add a meeting room to a meeting when you're creating it, there's two possibilities. One, you're not using the business version of Google Workspace and you're on the free consumer one where you can't do it. Or the other option could be that your workspace administrator hasn't set up any rooms that you can book, but otherwise you should be able to quickly and easily link a room to a meeting when you're creating an event in Google Calendar. So here we are looking at Google Calendar. Lots of free time on this calendar, so let's go book a meeting and link it to a meeting room. So uh, pick a time, drag and drop, the Compose Event window will appear. Let's give it a name, Meeting. And you'll see down here there's an option to add a room. So if we click on add a room, it will list the rooms that are available during that time period. So as you can see here, we've got two rooms that are available, the orange room and the red room. These names are actually given by the administrator when they're setting up the room. So if you aren't seeing any rooms or you aren't seeing any names, go and have a quick word with your administrator about it. It will also list the capacity of the room. So we can see this can hold up to 20 and this can hold up to 50 people. So let's book the orange room. You'll see that that's popped up to here now and the red room is still available down here. We could actually book both rooms if we wanted to be selfish and not, not leave any rooms for anyone else to go into. But let's free up the uh, red room for somebody else. Click the back arrow and you'll see that the room is now listed here as the place where the meeting is going to take place. Add your, add your guests, send any information you want along with the invite and hit save. You'll now see that the meeting has been booked and it's got the name of the room there. If I click on it, you'll see that it says the Mosey Exchange. Uh, level one orange room with 50, capacity of 50 people. Now the nice thing is each of these rooms actually have their own individual calendars so if you just want to go and inspect those calendars to see if there is a room available or not you can do that as well without having to go through the booking process. All you need to do for that is click the plus icon next to other calendars, click on browse resources and then you'll see the rooms are available. You can then subscribe to these rooms so that you can view their calendars. So let's subscribe to the white room, the red room and the orange room. You'll see that they just appear down the left hand side in my other calendar options. So if I go back here, we can actually now see if I turn off my calendar, we can see the calendar for the orange room, which I just booked is now listing that event. We can see there's actually an event already booked in this uh, red room here. And there's an event booked in the white room for Friday. So those are the individual calendars for each of the rooms. So if you just want to have a quick browse to see what's going on and see what's available before sending invites, you can do that too by just adding those event room calendars to your other calendar section down in the bottom left hand corner.